Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Today we're going to go over uninstalling apps, digging them things out. Sometimes you end up with a very suspicious app that maybe you installed and you're like, oh man, I sh maybe I shouldn't have installed this thing. How do you know what you're getting rid of? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this nifty little app. We're going to examine these three applications I have on my desktop, Adobe Acrobat Reader, Snap Camera, and a Safari install because my Safari is acting funky and I downloaded it from the internet. So we're going to examine these, see if there's anything wrong with them, and look at the files that are being installed as well as the scripts that are being triggered at the time this thing runs. And then we're going to run through at the very end, if you hang out, we're going to run through a couple uh, terminal commands to see if we can find any other files that were maybe created after the app ran and any other stuff that was maybe left over that was not seen by the app. All right, so we're going to dig in. Let's get this done. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go download this application called Suspicious Package. The link is in the description. Otherwise, you can get it from right here. All right, got it? So the first thing, I'm going to click Download, and it's going to download it, already downloaded to my desktop. I'm going to click this Show Details. Here's tip number one. When you're downloading software from the Internet, if it has... A download SHA you want to check that after you download the file so what this is is it's giving me a fingerprint right of that file so if somebody intercepted that file or offered me a bad one and it was a different package I would be able to run a command and check this number so we're gonna do this real quick do command spacebar type in terminal and command plus to blow this guy up we're gonna do open ssl oh sha 256 users mac guy desktop and suspicious package dmg I'm going to run this, and it's going to give me this nice long code. And I really don't need to check the whole thing. All I have to do is really check the last few characters. F195D, F195D. I know that this file has not been tampered with during transmission, so I can open it, and we're good to go. So now we're going to use Suspicious Package to actually analyze some of these packages that we have. Alright, so we're going to check these packages out to see exactly what they've installed on my system. We're going to do Suspicious Package, open up the app, and right there it's going to show me all of these apps right there in on the, on the app itself. If it doesn't, I can drag it onto the app and it'll open up that item. So if we open up the Adobe Acrobat, we're going to notice a bunch of different things. It's going to tell us some information about the package itself. One of the big things you want to note is that it was developer ID signed. It was signed and it was notarized. The security on your system is cool with that app no matter what because it's been notarized by Apple. It runs 88 install scripts. What? What? 88 install scripts? Are you kidding me? What is this thing actually installing? We've got... Oh my goodness. This thing is installing. The app. We can open up the library. It's got all these files. So if you want to figure out how to remove Adobe Acrobat Reader, this is how you're going to have to do it, right? If you don't have an uninstall script, which Adobe's got them, right? 
but there are some apps that do not have uninstall scripts and a lot of these crappy apps that people download are not good and they're obliterating your system with junk and this is a good way to see what's being installed at the beginning when it's installed so now we can look at all the files we look at the scripts and we can see what these scripts are doing the pre-install and the post install you can run through here and start to look and just see if it's running an rm command for remove or it's doing something like a curl to curl data off your system this is what the package is doing these are the files that you're looking for to getting rid of i want to look at this safari install all right Ooh, safari install we get a warning all right so we're getting a warning because it's not signed this package is not signed by a developer I wouldn't trust this package at all. You don't know what this thing's gonna do. So let's go look at the files. It says it installs. Okay, so it's installing the Safari app. So you think. Think it's the Safari app. Could be any type of app. Just named Safari.app. But then, let's come over to the scripts. Remember? Look at, I didn't actually add the code to copy your data off your system or to remove it. But this is where it would have happened. A pre-install, a post-install, look at that. That could have easily removed all the user data. So being able to know what these apps are doing is critical in being able to find them and getting rid of them. So now we know what the apps installed at that time the actual physical files we know so if i go get rid of that great but what if there's other stuff what if i do the snap camera if i want to go to the location of a file i control click on that file and say show destination folder and finder and it will bring me right to that file that is the quickest way I can get to that file and delete it. So for that big Adobe Acrobat Reader one, it's really not that difficult. You can use this app to navigate right to those files. How do I find the extra files? Are there any extra files? It says it's only got the application Snap Camera, but after I ran that app, other files actually were Created. So I'm going to open up terminal and see if we can find them. All right. So what I got here is I have this find command and I want to use this find command to see if I can find any files that have snap in the name and they could be anywhere on the system, but I want to look directly in, I want to look in Mac guy folder and I want to see if there's any files in on this system with the name snap in it with wildcards on the end to find anything extra. And then send all errors to DevNull. So let's go look. All right. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff. That's how you find those files. And if I wanted to just do the whole drive and see if the whole drive, I just get rid of all that. Just do the whack. Hit it. And it's going to find everything that has snap in it. See, look at, there is stuff. Look at that. There's always way more stuff than what you believe is there. So use some of these techniques to track down those files and get rid of them and hopefully this keeps you a little bit safer if you do download packages on the internet you should take a look at them and make sure there's no malware or whatever if they're not signed don't even bother you guys have an amazing week and i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did and take care